Alright class, anyone here who knows the answer? Ligaya, Ligaya. Do you know the answer? Yes, I know, but I'm too shy to answer. Our classmates might laugh at me. This happens to many of us almost every day, and some of us lack self-confidence. We wish to change that. My name is Alexis Eugenio, and I have always been passionate in teaching students like you. Together with a team of experts in line with bringing out the best from people, we will show you four easy-to-follow techniques in building self-confidence. So what is self-confidence? Self-confidence is believing and knowing your abilities and values. Also, you are confident as much as you like yourself. Meaning, the more you like yourself, the more confident you become. And the less you like yourself, the less confident you become. So what are the advantages of having self-confidence? Number one, you will have a better life. You will have a happier life less regrets, no ill wishes, only love and best intentions. So you will always find yourself appreciated and loved by others. Number two, you can be more successful. Employers prefer employees who are confident because confident people can make firm decisions. Even in business, confident businessmen are more respected and now we will show you four techniques in building your confidence. Let us begin. Number one, self-concept. Self-concept is our idea of ourselves and our performance. We have a self-concept on how fast we can run, how good we are as a dancer, and we have a self-concept in almost everything about our lives. So one of the most exciting discoveries in modern psychology is our self-concept has a direct relation with our performance. This also means that whatever idea plays upon our brain, the body will try to live up to it. If my self-concept says that I can run 35 kilometers per hour, chances are I can run 35 kilometers per hour. Remember, you are as confident as much as you like yourself. So one of the keys in developing our self-confidence is to have the idea or expectation that we like ourselves. We can do that by declaring, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself. When you need to have confidence before you meet the person who you really love, before you meet him or her, try saying, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself. When you need to have confidence before you meet the president of a big company and you are nervous, Try saying, I like myself, I like myself, I like myself. As a result, you'll place the idea that you like yourself. Remember, you are as confident as much as you like yourself. Therefore, you will become more confident. Number two, embrace changes. Most people are afraid of changes because changes may lead to pain and trouble. But the truth is, more often than not, Changes will not hurt us. Changes will not bring us trouble. So we strongly recommend to embrace changes. But how do you do that when you are afraid of pain and trouble? It is suggested to begin with small changes. Begin with changes you are certain will not result to pain or trouble. Number three, learn to handle fear. Fear is an unpleasant emotion in anticipation of pain and trouble. Fear can be a showstopper. It can keep you from doing what you are supposed to do. For example, when you need to cross a busy road but many vehicles are speeding, at first glance, you will think that fear is telling you not to cross the road. 
But if you will listen to what fear is telling you, you will find out that fear is not telling you to not cross the road. Fear is simply telling you to be careful, to stop, look, and listen before you cross the road. Chances are, without fear, a vehicle may have run over us a long time ago. So fear is actually our ally. The opposite words of fear are bravery and courage. So what is the difference between bravery and courage? Bravery is the absence of fear, while courage is doing the right thing even when there is fear. When you are faced with a task that seems to be very difficult and you do not have enough confidence to do the task, ask yourself, is this the right thing to do? If your answer is yes, maybe you will be able to gather enough courage to do what you're supposed to do. Then you will be more confident to accomplish the task. Number four, greet people before they greet you. To some Filipinos, we do not greet people first because we are concerned that the other person might reject us and this can be embarrassing. Now, this is called social rejection. Now, it is strongly recommended to greet people before they greet you. Why? If you greet someone, it's either the other person greets you back or rejects you. Now, if the person greets you back, you will feel good. But if the other person ignores you, you will find out that being ignored is not as bad as you thought. So similar to embracing small changes, the message that will subconsciously be sent to your brain is, many things that appear to be bad are not that bad at all. If you begin to think that some changes will not result to trouble or embarrassment, you will become more confident. All right, class. Anyone here who knows the answer? Sure, I know the answer. Thank you for watching this video. We trust that you've learned so much. You may continue to enjoy part two of confidence building. See you!